Jenna and I, we just butt heads. Come on. When I see Jennifer cook, these guys are really difficult to cut. I feel bad for her. I'm gonna cut myself. The two of us, it's just friction. It is time to take Sabrina down. I have no idea what's going on with this huge mystery box, but it's definitely got the wheels going on in my head. <gasps> Please welcome a very special guest, Chef Graham Elliott. Howdy, Home Cooks of Canada. Acclaimed chef and Master Chef US judge. Chef Graham Elliott for Master Chef US comes out of the box, laying down all. The He's what every young chef aspires to be. He's one of the youngest chefs ever to earn his first Michelin star. He's a genius. Holy freaking crap! Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to see what you guys put on a plate and represent Canada. What I love most about Graham Elliott is his love for food, his plating. My food dream is to run a chef-driven restaurant like Graham Elliott. Graham is a Michelin star chef known for his extraordinary food and innovative plating. And his signature style has inspired the ingredients under the mini boxes in front of you. Are you ready to find out what's underneath those mini mystery boxes? Yes, yes chef. chef! One. Two. Three. Lift. How beautiful, right? All of the ingredients that you see in front of you were hand chosen by me. You have the most gorgeous quail, beautiful sardines straight out of the water, fresh beans, radishes, Swiss chard, tomatoes. I have all these little teeny tiny vegetables. What am I cooking for elves? Today's mystery box is about turning those stunning petite ingredients into a delicious work of art that will impress us and Chef Graham Elliott. Being a big guy, my specialty is not attention to fine detail, it's not plating. I'm gonna have to get out of my comfort zone. I'm working with these itty bitty ingredients. I have six kids at home. I am used to cooking large portions. So trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with these tiny little veggies is gonna be a challenge. You have 60 minutes to prep, cook, and plate your breathtaking dishes. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Chef! Your time starts now. The vegetables are too tiny. I'm just scraping by right now. No more scraping by. It is a big deal that it's only eight of us left, so I hope to prove my worth today. So, Graham, this is an incredibly interesting mystery mm -hmm. box. Tell me, what would you do with these ingredients? Sardines, they're more forgiving. You could do something really quick, like a grill or sear, or even you know, a quick pickle, you know, like you would do a herring. I am making today a sardine en croute, which is like a beef wellington, but I'm stuffing it with sardines instead. I think I'd grill the sardines, and I would do the vegetable crudo, like a little vinaigrette yeah. with all these raw vegetables, but I'd let the vegetables really sing. This challenge is almost like the acoustic version if you were in a band. Quail, so unforgiving, but it's the one that could give you the most reward. If they can nail that temperature on it, it just shows they have that technique. I'm gonna do a little spin on chicken and waffles with a quail and potato salad on the side. I want everything to be proportional, but keep it cool and trendy at the same time. That's all what I'm about. 30 minutes! You have 30 minutes left. John, how are we doing? Good, welcome to Canada. Thank you so much. It looks like you are in a whirlwind. You've got like 10 feet of stuff all over the place. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a little pretty plate. I got some uh, quail that I split in half. I'm gonna put it on the grill. It's got some sumac on it, put some okay. butter under the skin. Never worked with something so so tiny. There's not a lot of fat in it, so yes. just make sure that you do not try to get it crispy, but then overcook it at the same time. Yeah. I'd rather have perfectly cooked quail than well done quail with crispy skin. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. All right, good luck, Tom. Thank you. Sabrina, how are you? Hi. Oh, boy. I'm starstruck. What do you have going? I've got a vegetable medley pickle. Quick little pickle. I love this idea. I'm soaking some beautiful sardines with some salt and lime. Wow. So have you done this before? I've done grilled sardines. The fact that you scored these, and not only scored them, but I mean, look at that. They're perfectly spaced apart. You look like you know what you're doing. Thanks, really? Chef. Good luck. 
Graham Elliott. What? <laughs> David, how are we doing? Good, Chef. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Tell me what the dish is. I'm doing a quail stuff with the uh, tops from all the veg, yeah. and then I'm going to roast them together with the legs, and then plate it with all the uh, beautiful veg that you provided. You're the only one so far that's doing something stuffed and has deboned the yes. legs. So yeah. that's like showing me that you have a ton of skill and that you also are like driven to getting it to the next level. Now it's do you have the wherewithal to make it happen? I do. All right. Thanks, they look good. I'm excited, David. Thank you. I've never cooked a quail before, but I'm gonna try to stick with traditional flavors and hopefully this will come out nicely. 15 minutes, you have 15 minutes left. I am making a country biscuit to go alongside my sardines. Just because we're working with little ingredients doesn't mean that you can't make a big impact. Tammy, how are you? Hi. What do you got going on here? Right now, I'm doing a lime and cilantro cream sauce for my uh, Swiss chard. I'm gonna do like a little Swiss chard tower. I'm doing a fried sardine in a little bit of flour because sure. that's the way my mom does rainbow cool. trout. So it's Tammy versus Sabrina versus Jennifer in the sardine <laughs> challenge. Okay. It's going to be a battle. <laughs> Sabrina and I, we just butt heads. Come on. When I see Jennifer cook, these guys are really difficult to cut. I feel bad for her. I'm going to cut myself. The two of us, it's just friction. It is time to take Sabrina down. One minute. The judges are going to be impressed by my plating. It should be as close to Graham-esque as possible. I hope the judges want to taste this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! Woohoo! All right. The judges will now take one final look at the dishes for tasting. The winner of this mystery box will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. I've been in the middle in this competition for the most part, and I have to be called up to that podium. I want to have the best dish. I have to be one of the top cooks tonight. I need to prove that I have what it takes to actually win a challenge on my own. The first dish we'd like to see has been made by a home cook that makes beautiful, rustic dishes. But today, they plated with finesse and originality. Please bring your dish up. Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Nice job, Tam Tam. What I've prepared for you today is a pan-fried sardine. I created a little tower of Swiss chard, and then I pickled the radishes and the beets, then made a small salad. First thing that draws you in, this. The beets, gorgeous. Candy striped, golden red. Really good. Great cook on the fish. It's full of flavor. Beautiful. Thank good you. job. Thank you. Well, the presentation, I think, is, is quite beautiful. Thank you. You've used a large plate, but you used it well. Absolutely delicious. Crisp outer skin, certainly not overcooked. Nice and moist. Nice job. Thank you. I'm feeling very good about what I've created and what I have the ability to do. The second dish that we like to taste was made by a home cook who created a dish that fully honored tiny, beautiful ingredients with attitude and style. Sabrina, please bring your dish up to the front. I made grilled sardines playing on a medley of pickled vegetables and a simple soft-boiled potato dressed in lemon juice and parsley. Still glistening, not overcooked. Now everything's seasoned perfectly. The only thing I would do is some kind of sauce component, a light little vinaigrette, just something to help kind of enrich it. But aside from that, near perfect dish. Thank you. It's beautifully cooked. You're definitely someone that should not be underestimated because you are a threat in this kitchen. Great job. Thanks, Chef. The third home cook on our list plated a dish that was so whimsical and delightful, 
It brought a smile to our faces. I hope I get called up. John, please bring up your dish. Right. We have a sumac and butter grilled quail with an array of little baby vegetables. You're physically imposing. You're a big dude. You got the grill pan going. So I'm thinking, all right, some like dude food. Then you come up and you present a plate with polka dots of sauce. <laughs> Just seeing this dish, it'd be like, wow, he's definitely one of the front runners. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. You know, quail, it's so small, it's got to be cooked just right. See that? You know what it is? It's perfect. Awesome. It's hit with a lot of lemon, it's got this acidity cutting through it, but it tastes like quail. It's not obliterated by the sumac. It's a pretty awesome dish. Thank you, you should be really proud. Good Thank job. You. John, you got the baby tomatoes here with the puree. Yeah. Wow, that red pepper puree matches that tomato beautifully. Here you have two vegetables that amplifies the taste of each other. You're getting there, you're getting refined. One of these days, you may have to get long pants. <laughs> Dip Tammy, Sabrina, maybe I can win this mystery box challenge. Now, it's customary for us to taste three dishes in a mystery box challenge, but we're gonna try one more dish. I'm 100% sure they're gonna call my name. They have to. Please step forward. David. David, of course. It's a uh, stuffed quail with seasonal roast veg and parsley aioli. I love this plant. It's very, very natural and organic. Thank you. Where'd you get the idea for this? I actually love working with whole animals. It's a small one, but I just like doing that type of preparation. I love the sauce. Nice roast on the vegetables. Nice color on the skin. This is a dish that not only is it delicious, but it's one that you want to photo and like, you know, tweet to everybody. Good job. Now we're going to take a moment to discuss the four best dishes. Standing up there, I have butterflies in my stomach. I would love to have an advantage, finally. To think that none of them get paid to do this. And these guys could easily be in a restaurant. There was a lot of stand-up dishes. OK, so we know who it is? Absolutely. I want to win this mystery box challenge more than anything just to show Graham Elliott what type of home cook I am. The person that made the best dish in this mystery box challenge, a big congrats. David. You should be very, very proud of being able to put that dish together. In my cooking life, I've never been so happy because Graham Elliott actually noticed how much passion I put into that dish.